I chose to do Hurricane Katrina and what happened in the Superdome during that time. Uh, so Katrina was not the first hurricane that hit there, obviously. And this is not the first time they actually used the Superdome for a place for people to go. Uh, they actually used it for two other hurricanes. But those hurricanes didn't last weeks like Katrina did, like the damage and everything. So that's why it was okay for those hurricanes, but not this one. Um, for the preparation, they did not have enough resources because they did not want to make it comfortable for those to stay in the Superdome because they wanted them to leave. They didn't want them staying. So they wanted to make it clear that the Superdome was not a hotel and that they should just leave. But most people didn't have the resources to just leave. So what went wrong was they didn't use the correct measures. They didn't have like all the generators and food and water and everything that they needed and they did not have enough, um, they didn't have a plan for like where all the poor people were gonna go and the elderly, like in nursing homes, they didn't evacuate them like they should have and they all died. Like a lot of the people that died were the people in nursing homes because they couldn't evacuate them. They didn't have a place to put them. So the plan was the biggest issue they had because it was just a mess. Communication and leadership, yeah, I just talked about that. They couldn't evacuate them because they didn't have the means to. So here's more background information. On August 26, 2005 is when it was, they activated their emergency response plans to begin evacuations for the coast. Hurricane Katrina created an unpredicted need for sheltering and temporary housing across four state area along with the Gulf Coast. Throughout evacuation, the New Orleans region had about 100,000 people remaining, and out of those, 10,000 went to the Superdome to seek shelter. Um, overall, more than 1,800 people lost their lives as a result of Hurricane Katrina. Katrina is the third deadliest hurricane in the U.S., in U.S. history. Um, this hurricane left them without power in the arena, and the air conditioner failed immediately in there and it made it super hot. So everyone was like sweaty and gross and it just smelled horrible. Um, while they were in the Superdome, they were not allowed to leave. They had the National Guard outside keeping them in because it was safe. It wasn't necessarily safe to be there, but at the same time it wasn't safe to leave. So they had them barricaded like in a certain area around the Superdome. So here's just some stories that are most common when you hear about the Superdome. So it took two days for it to get really bad. Um, one mother said that baby supplies were really low and she was told when she got diapers just to scrape them off and reuse them. Um, at least two people, including a child, were raped in the arena, which that was very common, like a lot of people there were stories about being raped during that time. Um, three people died, including one man who jumped 50 feet to his death saying he had nothing left to live for. The toilets in the Superdome became inoperable and began to overflow because there was no water. So that's when like, it started getting really bad because everyone was just peeing all over and there were just puddles and feces everywhere. Um, this first story is a mom of 11 kids, and she brought them all to the Superdome during Katrina. And so she just had to constantly ask herself, like, is her family going to be there in the morning when she wakes up? Um, there were people who wrapped plastic bags on their feet so they didn't have to step through the urine and all the trash. Um, uh, a lot of the elderly who went to the Superdome died because they didn't have their medication and their bodies were left there for days and weeks because they couldn't take them anywhere. But that was really all over because there were just dead bodies piled up. They literally put them in bags and just left them where they were and put an arrow by them so you knew it wasn't trash and it was a dead body. So that's gross. So this 
this is like kind of blurry, but like this picture is them outside of it where they're not allowed to leave. This is inside of it. Like there's just trash and everything. And that's what it looks like inside too with all the trash because people took all their belongings that they could. So that's why there was another problem. There's just too much stuff. And then this is what it looked like before. And then that's 10 years, 10 years after it was fixed. And it actually is really nice. I went there like five years ago. But you can, there's definitely still damage from hurricanes. You can just tell. But okay, so this is what is said to be the truth about it, even though you hear all these other stories. Um, it was not supposed to be like a place where they could stay for up to a week or even longer. It was supposed to be temporary, but they were stranded there. It said that there was piles of bodies up, like piled up by the Superdome, but there wasn't. It was just, and it, that's what was causing all the smell, but it was really just all the rotting food that was left in the Superdome. Um, the deaths, it says there's about 1,800, but there's still over 2,000 that are discounted as missing because they don't know who they are. Like, they just can't count them because they don't know who they are. And then this is a better picture of it, but this is when they are waiting to get rescued after it all happens, and you can just see all their belongings are trashed. 